What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking up family, and my fighters, and my Umbrella Academy fans? I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about season two of Umbrella Academy. Gonna give you my review. We're gonna discuss it, theorize it a little bit, talk about the ending, what may happen in season three, a bunch of different things. Obviously, spoiler warning for all things Umbrella Academy. And first off, if you haven't seen Umbrella Academy and you have Netflix, definitely go check it out. Season one, season two. I hope you like it. I think it's really cool. I think it's a great show. If you can, guys, please hit that subscribe button as it will greatly help the channel out if you like what we do here. Also, hit that like button. Smash the like button, they say. But if you like what we do here and you're not a subscriber, I wonder why. I'm not sure why you wouldn't be, but as we post daily great videos, hit the join button to become a valued member. Also, if you want to donate, we have a Patreon. We have a book series on Amazon. And hopefully in one way, you'll help support the channel. I hope you join the fight and pick up your copy today. Now let's get to Umbrella Academy. Season 1, Season 2. They definitely have the same kind of feel, but a little different feel to it. I believe the characters were better in Season 2. The first season, we got to know them a little bit. And of course, in Season 2, hopefully got a little bigger budget. And we got to know these characters even more. I love the characters overall, but I definitely have my favorites. Who's yours? I'll tell you mine in a second. But I have to say that the story was interesting. They love to go back in time, talk about the JFK assassination, and they talked about civil rights, and it was pretty cool. I like the idea of them going back in time and trying to change things, but if you change things too much, it's going to have an altered universe of the future, maybe a multiverse situation. I think that's where we're headed in season three. Now, my favorite character, well, probably everybody's favorite character is Klaus. And why? Because he's hilarious. He's the character that really helps the story, in my opinion. He's the character that has the power that you'd be like, yeah, I'd be the same way. It'd be terrible to see the dead and to be a part of that, you know, and just be like, what do I do with this power? It's kind of the weakest power out of all of them. But overall, I feel that Klaus is the comic relief. He's over the top, he's hilarious, and he's essential for the show, and it's one of the things that I love about it. Now, not everybody's probably gonna like him, but ultimately, I think he's hilarious. How about you? And how about that ending, right? Ben being connected with probably season three and where they're going with that, but don't worry, we'll get to that at the end. But I do think Luther is hilarious, and he has those funny moments that just make you laugh, and it would be a different show if he wasn't there. Now, we had some new characters, the Swedes. I wonder what's going to happen with that one guy at the end who joined or at least got on the bus of Klaus's cult. So we'll have to see what happens there. And remember, the future has to be drastically different now. Our group being in the 60s definitely impacts the future, most likely in a negative way. And of course, this guy has to play a factor in that. And again, don't worry, we'll talk about the ending at the end of the video. I wonder if Cha-Cha and Hazel are gonna come back in next season because Hazel was in there for like two seconds. And again, it's all about the apocalypse and them trying to stop the apocalypse, but they start the apocalypse. So how they're impacted with it. I wonder if that's gonna be a big part of season three. And I wonder what's gonna happen with the cast. Are we gonna get the Sparrow Academy versus the Umbrella Academy? And where did Lila go? Did she go to the Umbrella Academy? Is she part of the Sparrow Academy? Is she part of the commission? This guy was pretty cool in the trailer, but was like a very small part in my eyes. But why did the handler keep him around? I don't get it. Pogo was there for like a couple seconds. Baby Pogo was pretty great. And I want to see more of him in season three. It was interesting what happened with the dad taking off the face and taking out the people there. Like, what's up with this guy? What's up with Mr. Hargreaves? Is he an alien? Is he part of the fish people? I mean, I don't get it. And I really hope they don't gloss over that in season three, but the Hargreaves family is pretty interesting. And I wonder what's gonna happen with the mom now. The whole Diego telling her things back in the 60s, how does it impact the future? Diego is a pretty interesting character. And what did you think of his power when he stopped the bullets? What is he, Neo from the Matrix now? But a huge moment is the cliffhanger at the end of season two, the Sparrow Academy. And Mr. Hargreaves knew that they would be here. And what's up with the green floating box there? That's pretty interesting. But again, the timeline in the 60s definitely changed things for the future. Is it a multiverse? Is five gonna take the group back to the 60s and they have to stop things there from changing it? Or is it the 70s or 80s? Because October 1st, 1989 is pretty important for this timeline and this group. But who are the people up there versus our group. And Ben, he's the bad guy now? Or is our group the bad guy? What's gonna happen with Ben? 
he is a character that has been around, but he's had a minor role connected with Klaus. Maybe he's going to be the person that takes on our group. Maybe our group joins the commission. I wonder what's going to happen there because something big has to happen. Probably Sparrow Academy versus Umbrella Academy. But Harlan has to be part of the Sparrow Academy, right? We saw the whole thing that he had part of Vanya's powers. He had it at the end too. He had it, Vanya took some of it away, but at the end, Harlan had some of the powers still. So what's gonna happen with Harlan? Is he ever going to talk? What is that going to impact? Because it's interesting that Vanya is pretty powerful, but so is Lila, and probably so is Harlan. And remember, there were 43 other babies born on October 1st, 1989. And there are 43 sparrows hidden throughout season two. Can you find them all? I didn't know about the sparrow thing until after watching Umbrella Academy season two, but that's what Harlan has in his hand. I'm guessing that's a sparrow. It's definitely a bird and it's floating. So we know that Harlan has part of Vanya's power still. He definitely had that creepy villain look to him at the end, so we'll have to see. But I saw these on Twitter, and you see the sparrows all over the season now. Different things, different areas, different people have sparrows on different objects, and it's pretty interesting. It's definitely connected a lot with certain people, Lila, the Commission, the Swedes, you know, different things around the season. So it's interesting because I wonder what's going to happen with that. And that's great writing. It draws you in. It makes you wonder what's up with these sparrows. What's it going to be for season three on to the next one. Hopefully they can start filming sooner rather than later. But overall, season two was great. I enjoyed it. It had that same old feel from season one. Five was far less annoying this season. In the first one, he's like annoying. He's over the top. We got to stop the apocalypse. We got to stop the apocalypse. And he's bossing people around. And again, Umbrella Academy does a great job with the story, with the music too. They have great music every episode. So hopefully you'll check it out if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts. Stay safe and see you guys.